Hey everyone, it's Justin again. Oh my gosh, I had the craziest evening last night. You are not gonna believe this. Okay, so I mixed together all of the ingredients to make a cake. I ended up having to buy a cake at the grocery store because I did not want to start over. I had to clean up my entire kitchen. I gathered up all the ingredients. The bowl slipped out of my hands when I was pouring the batter. Are you feeling a little confused right now? Yeah, I don't blame you. All of these things definitely happened to me last night. <laughs> but not in this order. Even with simple things like telling people about your life, it's important to be able to put things in a logical order in order to eliminate confusion and frustration. In this video, we'll revisit my jumbled story to figure out what actually happened yesterday. Then we'll discuss how this relates to this unit on proofs. Finally, we'll look at what you should expect throughout the proofs unit. Let's get into it. Let's take a look at all of those things that happened to me yesterday evening. Well, if this isn't the order in which my night happens, can you figure out what order these events should go in? I can use some logic to figure this out. For example, I can't mix all the ingredients if I don't even have them, so gathering the ingredients to make a cake should probably come first. Buying a cake at the grocery store should probably come last, because that's what I did after I gave up on my ruined batter. How about the middle parts? What do you think I did after I gathered the ingredients? Mixing the ingredients must come second because that's what caused all of the chaos when it got spilled. This one's a little trickier. What do you think comes next? Do you think I had to clean up my kitchen and then I spilled the batter? Well, I can't clean up if there's nothing to clean. So it would make sense for the bowl slipping to come next and then I cleaned up the mess once I made it. Now this story makes a lot more sense. Proofs in math are a lot like telling a story. You'll be given a starting point, usually some given information or a diagram, and an endpoint or a goal. It's your job as a mathematician to fill in everything in the middle in order to tell a convincing story about how we can get from the start to the finish. Like in the story about my evening, it's important that you put things in a logical order. It doesn't matter if everything you say is true, if it be confusing to someone else because it's in the wrong order. Now, while the focus of this unit is going to be on proofs that start with geometric concepts and end with a destination that involves us proving something about lines, angles, or triangles, this skill can be applied to pretty much any career or activity. Be on the lookout throughout this unit in your notes template PDF for opportunities to explore the connection between proofs and careers such as law, technical writing, and teaching. We'll start our unit by reviewing the properties, theorems, and definitions you've learned so far and how they might apply to proofs. Then we'll do proofs for algebraic equations, lines and angles, and triangles. As always, your notes template PDF for this unit will be found in the teaching section for this lesson. It's filled with detailed notes on each lesson, as well as activities for you to further your learning. As a matter of fact, there's already an activity for you to do right after this video. So make sure you print out the notes template PDF and complete it before moving on to the practice game. There are also some new things happening in this unit that I wanna to talk to you about. First, for many of the lessons in this unit, your practice will be split between the notes template PDF and the practice games on the website. So always pay close attention to the video and read your notes template PDF carefully for directions on your practice. Next, your unit assessments for this unit will be done on paper and they'll be graded by an adult using a rubric. So be on the lookout for that. The last new thing in this unit are video answer guides. For some of the practice problems you'll have, you will be given a link that will redirect you to a video where you will be walked fully through the question. 
Whenever you're solving a problem though, always make sure to try it on your own first. Then if you need some help, go back and visit previous problems you've done or the video for the lesson. And you can even ask an adult for a hint before you watch the walkthrough video. Good luck on your first activity for the unit and I will see you next time. Hey.